Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome. This is Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, episode 459. Today, we're talking about the book that I just finished, The Martial Artist's Handbook. If you don't know who I am, well, I'm Jeremy. Jeremy Lesniak. I'm your host here for Martial Arts Radio. I'm the founder at Whistlekick. Apparently, I've written a book. <laughs> and my whole life right now is dedicated to the martial arts. I love traditional arts. I love all of them. I'm not even going to name any of them because I love them all. And I train in as many as I can. And it, it is from this love that we launched Whistlekick. And we do all the things that we do. And I do all the things that I do throughout the day. If you want to check out everything that we've got going on, go to whistlekick.com. That's our online home. You'll see everything that we've got going on. Links to all the different projects, the products that we make. And if you make a purchase in the store, use the code PODCAST15. That'll save you 15% off. We've got a ton of stuff in there. There's new stuff coming out all the time. And the best way to stay up on what's happening is to subscribe to the newsletter. We email you once, twice a month. It's not too often. Just keep you informed of what's going on with Whistlekick. You know, we're not going to sell your address or do anything silly like that. Now, this show has a separate home, Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio. Dot com. That's where you're going to find everything about every episode we've ever made. We do two episodes a week. And it's all under the heading of connecting, educating, and inspiring traditional martial artists. And if you want to show us some love, you can make a purchase, you can share an episode, or our most recent method of connecting with everyone, Patreon. If you're familiar with Patreon, it's a method that podcast listeners and content consumers can support the people the companies behind it go to patreon.com slash whistlekick and if you're willing to contribute at least five dollars a month you're going to get exclusive content we've got links to those from our various websites so check it out thank you in advance for your support let's talk about the book i started playing with the idea of a book based around content for martial arts radio years ago at first, it was, let's, let's do an, a book on the first 100 episodes. I started thinking about that, putting down some ideas. And then we were at 150, and then 200 episodes. I said, wait a second, that's not going to be the right way to do it. I don't want to do some kind of compendium, some archive of the episodes that we've done. It's got to be different. It's got to be original. What does the idea of writing allow us to do that we can't do in audio? And then I started to think about one of the most impactful books I've ever read. And if you know your martial arts radio history, my favorite martial arts book, Zen and the Martial Arts. I've always loved this book, and I love it for a few different reasons. One of which is that it's written in small, digestible chunks that you can pick up and read at any time and hopefully take something out of. And it was my dream to do something similar. So I started looking through and realized, if we use the Thursday shows as a foundation, there's a lot that we can do. Now, I'm not just going to take the transcripts and slap them together in a book, but we can use those transcripts as an outline. And this is where I want to give a shout out to Lester, who will probably never hear this. But Lester, who is a former member of the team, somebody that we had working on podcast episodes. He's moved on to other things, but he helped put together the outline. He did a tremendous amount of work on this. And without him, I don't know that the book would have come to light. So one day, probably six months ago, he sent me an outline that was 30 pages, bullet points, organized under chapter headings based on particular episodes. I said, wow, <laughs> there's a lot here. And I wanted to try something because I'm a writer, but I'm not a fast writer. I am getting pretty good at doing these audio episodes with nothing more than an outline. In fact, I'm doing this episode with nothing. And I thought, what would happen if I recorded the audio first? I said, let's try it. So I did. So I recorded the audio for an entire book. And all in all, I think it was 10, 12 hours of audio, something like that. And I said, now what? Well, we have a wonderful member of this community, Jenny, who has 
helped us in the past with transcribing. And I reached out to her and I said, hey, Jenny, you want to help me transcribe this book? She said, yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> well, she did. She did a phenomenal job on it. It's awesome. Uh, you may not know what a transcript typically looks like, but she killed it. And along the way, she was the first person to edit it and offered some suggestions. And again, another person who supported this project. So thank you to Jenny. And then I put it out there. I shared the book with a few people and said, hey, I need some editing done, some additional editing. I want to make sure we're, we're catching as much as we can. So I had a few people who read through it very quickly, three, four days, and got me their thoughts, and I incorporated them and made some edits. And now the book is live. We don't typically talk about dates on this show. You'll never hear me mention the date that something was recorded. But I'm recording this episode on December 10th of 2019. The paperback just went live on Amazon. The Kindle version goes live the end of the week. And the audio version should be live at Audible, which is a division of Amazon, right? In the next few days. We're finishing up some final audio editing there. Of course, editing audio takes a lot more time. And I'm super pumped about this. Let's talk about what the book is. First off, the title, The Martial Artist's Handbook. I spent a lot of time thinking about the title because I didn't want it to be overly authoritative. I wanted to express that, hey, these are things that I think, that I believe, that seem to be commonly held beliefs. But I'm also leaving some room for changing it, for improving it. And I do intend to come out with subsequent versions. We're version one. Who knows how many versions we do? But the idea of making it a handbook, where else do you have handbooks? You have handbooks at work. Maybe you have a student handbook at your martial arts school. It changes. It gets updated. It's a reference. And that's what this book is. You could sit down. You could read through it. You'll probably hear my voice come through in the words because I write the way I speak. And in this case, I spoke the way I speak. But you can also just look at the table of contents and flip to a section. And it's my hope that the information in here not only helps people, but improves. I want people to challenge it. I want people to give me ideas on how to improve it. How do we take this topic or this circumstance? How do we make it better? How does version two of the martial artist handbook become so compelling and so much better than version one that everyone who owns it says, I can't wait to get the next version. And that's my goal. As with everything we make, I want it to continue to get better and I want it to deliver value. I've had a number of people say that they're going to buy copies simply to support me or to support Whistlekick, and I'm good with that. But I hope that if you get it, you read it, and I hope that you take something from it. I don't simply want people to donate money. That's why if you look at the Patreon, anything $5 and up, you're getting something for it. I'm going to deliver value everywhere I possibly can. I'm not just going to sit there with my cup out and ask. As I was going through the book, one of the things that was hardest was to figure out how to organize it. What sections? What chapters? In the end, there are 14 sections, ranging on everything from teaching to basics to forms, physical considerations. I'm just going off the top of my head. I don't have the outline in front of me. And you'll recognize a lot of the content, but here's the thing. I've changed some of it. I didn't just read the transcript. I used it as a reference, and some of my thinking has evolved. Not dramatically. You're not going to read anything in this book and think, ah, who is this guy? This isn't Jeremy. But hopefully, if you've been following the show for a while, you'll see the evolution of my thought process, because I don't want to be so stuck in what I think that it can't change. I have no idea where this book takes Whistlekick, if anywhere. 
It could be a complete flop. We might sell four copies. I don't know. We might sell thousands of copies. That would be cool. But in the end, I learned something in the process. I plan to write more books. There are already three or four bouncing around in my head. And it just becomes another way that we at Whistlekick can reach you. One of the book ideas involves some collaboration. So stay tuned for that. But if you want to learn more, you can go to whistlekick.com and under the books section, you'll find it. You can also purchase autographed copies. But if you want to go right to Amazon, just search for the Martial Artist Handbook or search for me by name, you'll find it. And it's available in Kindle form and paperback form and soon audio form. And from what I understand of the audio book landscape, you'll also be able to find it on Apple in the iBook store as an audio book once we're done with that. I'd love to give you some, some trivia or, or something like that, some behind the scenes stuff for the book, but it wasn't that fancy. It was me using this very same microphone to record this very same desk that I'm knocking on to type at. The same computer I record with, I emailed and edited. It's an extension of the show. Without the show, this book never would have happened. So for each of you who are listening, without you, without the last four and a half years, this book would never have existed. And that's why it's dedicated to all of you. To those of you who have shown support for as long as you've shown support, I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And I'm glad this was the first book that I chose to write in this way. Thanks for listening. If you have questions about the book that aren't answered online, please email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com, and feel free to email me for other reasons. If you want to support us, you've got a bunch of ways. You can buy the book. You can support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash whistlekick. You can share an episode. You can make a purchase at whistlekick.com. Use the code podcast15 to save 15%. Yes, that would cover the autographed copies of the book. You can leave a review, Facebook or anywhere. Tons of review places. If you want to make a guest suggestion, go to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com and you can follow us on social media at whistlekick. Thank you for being an audience that is so supportive, for giving me the space, the opportunity to write this book. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.